Hello, I'm Holly McGee, and I'm the author of Matilda Bright and Tender, my debut middle grade novel. I would say it's in first grade when I wrote the story of Sandra Black. You probably haven't heard of it because it hasn't been published. <laughs> and she drove to the moon in an upside down car. I came across it the other day. I didn't reread it, but it's in a... I keep memory boxes for my children with, you know, important artifacts from their many successes like region choir and region band. And I have my own memory box too. And I saw it in there on ditto machine paper, the kind that, you know, used the purple ink and smelled really weird. So I have it, but I didn't bring it with me. <laughs> most proud of Sussie Reed and she's the nine-year-old girl at the center of the book who loses her best friend Guy Hose and she's able to walk through her grief, um, survive, and then make something beautiful from the memories and she understands that when you love a friend you never lose them even in death and I have a lot of respect for her. Probably the perfect reader is a child or adult who isn't afraid to face the hard truths of life, who understands that when we lose someone and we find hope again, it's not disrespectful to the person who died, it's a way to honor them and hold them close to you forever. I've been so pleased that children are not afraid of this book. And I think if we allow them to read about some of the things we might encounter in our lives through the safe pages of a book, um, we're doing them a great service. On the other hand, I also have an uh, 87-year-old friend who I met with last night who um, loved the book too. So I, I think it's for people who aren't afraid of a, an emotional story um, that holds the promise of hope at the end. I was thinking about, uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of interviews where people want advice about writing from my point of view as a literary agent, or they want to know what I learned most from this novel. And I, I actually learned the most from a college class I took. And it was um, a design course in which the project was to design a bathroom for a centaur. And when you think about a centaur, they're half horse and half human. This project forced me to think about all the details and ask all the right questions. Can a horse walk backwards? Um, how, much, how many pounds does a horse defecate every day? How do you design a bathroom for a human who has hands and can reach things and a horse who has a tail and can only move in one direction? Um, so my bathroom was a walkthrough and um, I have never forgotten that project. It, it has seen me through all the stages of my career and I'm always paying attention to what people do and, and, and what traits they have and, and how they are able to manage uh, their lives. And, and it, it's helped me learn how to ask the right questions of, of my characters, too. I've had some great reactions from fourth grade teachers um, who want to share this book with their class. I have a review from an eight-year-old on Amazon.com that thrilled me and said every book she reads should be like this one. Um, I, I have heard from our local librarian um, that uh, she wanted to give this book eight out of five stars. And I've also come across some people who have felt the book's a little too scary for children and I tell them I don't think the children feel this way. I think children have the strength to face reality and to understand that they can be happy and sad at the same time. That's part of life. We're not 
living in a glossed over world, um, sadness uh, becomes happiness in the end. I hope they love it and they can't put it down, number one. That's a tall order. Um, but when, when I was 16, I was in a, a terrible car crash. That was my fault. And uh, for years and years and years, I pushed um, my grief all the way down inside of me. And I kind of carried it around like a rock in my pocket. And it wasn't until I began writing this book that um, I was able to reach into those feelings from so many decades before. And the rock kind of began to dissolve as I took the worst thing that ever happened to me and made it into something beautiful. And so I want, I, I'm hoping that the kids who read this book and, and the adults too, and, and the really old people, I hope they understand that they can take the, the terrible things that might happen to them or, or things that are beyond their worst imagining and they can turn them into something beautiful and, and they will survive and flourish and they can be transformed by the very event that, that nearly destroyed them. Um, and it's knowledge that children can hold in, in their hearts um, for the day when they, they might possibly need it.